Today I've got BattleBox Mission 86, April 2022. And if you're thinking about signing up for BattleBox, I'll put my referral link in the comments. Alright, so the basic box this month came with the Tactica Camping Multi-Tool, the Outdoor Element Pot Gripper, and the SOL Fire Cubes. The advanced box included all of those same things and the Cali Loha Camp Table. The Pro Box came with all of that and the Climate Pillow and Climate Static V2 Sleeping Pad. And the last item in the Pro Plus box, or Knife of the Month box, was the ATAC Phantom Knife. Overall, I was pretty happy with the box this month. There was one item I wasn't too happy with, uh, that I'll get to in a minute. My favorite items were the Climate Inflatable Pads. I've wanted one of their sleeping pads for a long time, and just hadn't pulled the trigger yet. I bought something a little cheaper on Amazon and, and wasn't very happy with it, so I'm very excited about these. And also the Cali Loha folding table is actually pretty cool. It's simple and easy to set up and take down. And I think I'll definitely take this camping or even fishing. It's probably too heavy and bulky for backpacking or hiking, but for around camp, this thing is awesome. And it looks pretty cool too. So those are my favorite items. Everything else in the basic box, I liked. These fire cubes work great. They're pretty much the same thing as the fire dragon cubes we got a few months back. So some people might not be too happy with kind of a repeat item so soon. But there's such a small portion of the box anyways. I mean, the MSRP is like seven or eight bucks. And they work so good, I'm happy to have more. The one I tested stayed lit for almost 10 minutes, and it was a pretty windy day today. Granted, I had it contained in a little cauldron thing, so it probably lasts longer in that than it would spilling all out onto the ground and spreading out. Um, and the fire dragon cubes that are pretty similar to these, I was able to boil water with, but it took, I think, two cubes to get up to a rolling boil. I would imagine it's doable with these two. So great for boiling water in a pinch or for just getting a fire started. And the pot grabber is definitely useful depending on what kind of pots you have around camp. And you can use it to puncture a fuel canister and recycle it. Just obviously make sure it's empty first. And the multi-tool thing is okay. I have several things sort of like this that I really don't use very often. Uh, but it's fine. I don't have a problem with it being included in the box. I do really want to see how Curran demos this. I'm sure it would be a pretty useful tool around camp. And lastly, the knife of the month, the ATAC Phantom. Honestly, I was a little disappointed with it, mostly because it was very stiff out of the box. I couldn't get it to deploy with the flipper no matter how hard I tried. And I don't think that a knife this expensive should ever come like that. That's pretty disappointing. I will say though, after adjusting the pivot screws, I was able to get it to deploy better. But there is some blade play. And one other thing is, it's pretty painful actually to disengage the frame lock. There's a lot of resistance and it kind of pinches my thumb in there. And after doing it a few times, it's definitely uh, kind of painful. Uh, the good thing though is it came very sharp. It has an aluminum handle and VG10 blade steel. And I like VG10, especially in this price range. I think that's fine. Uh, and it looks cool, except for this backspacer that's painted kind of weird and is already starting to chip. Uh, you know, as a subscriber to BattleBox, I just really wish we could get back to some more name brand knives. It's not always feasible, depending on the cost to make it work in a subscription box. Uh, but the Knife of the Month Club needs to be worth it for the knife enthusiasts. And the problem with some... And the problem with some lesser known brands is you don't always know what you're going to get from the factory. And even if it looks good on paper, it might not feel good in hand. But it's still an okay knife. I don't hate it. I just expect a little better. Overall though, I was very happy with the box this month. I think the fact that I liked everything else and really liked the pad and the table still makes me feel okay about the purchase. 
If we had had a better knife of the month for Mission 86, this box would have been a home run for me. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about Battlebox Mission 86 in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.